just a quick evening video um, to clarify a video I did yesterday. So yesterday I did a video about um, my music that I have written four albums in the uh, last few months. Well, not last few months, probably in the last three, three or four years. And I've not released any of those. <clears throat> One of the reasons I've not released the albums is because um, the first couple of albums, I finished them during lockdown and effectively the music industry had shut down. I knew there was, there was no point. There was just no, no point in uh, releasing them because there wasn't any means of promoting them as such. Because I, when I think of promoting, I think of things like concerts and festivals. And as we couldn't have concerts or festivals during lockdown, I just said, I'll just shelve them. And I carried on writing music, and so I've got to the fourth album now, and still haven't released anything. And I suppose it came down to the point where I no longer had the need to release them, because um, I, I found other things to do to earn money. And the things I found um, include the acting work, um, and... On top of that, I also do um, food delivery. So during lockdown, I started doing delivery for companies such as um, Uber, Just Eat, Deliveroo and Stuart. <clears throat> um, now, it's people probably think it's really easy work. Um, it's not. It's very dangerous work because I do it on a, a bike. So I, I ride a bike when I'm delivering food. And um, last, well, last year, uh, I stupidly got myself knocked off the bike by a taxi, ended up smashing up this side of my face and breaking my arm and wasn't able to work for about three months. So that was a bit stupid. Um, well, not stupid. It wasn't my stupidity. It was the driver's stupidity. But, you know, you've got to deal with the consequences of it. Um, so yeah, it's not the easiest of work, but I love it. I actually, you know, it was kind of weird that I discovered it because of lockdown. If it, if we'd never gone into lockdown, I would never be doing this work, but it keeps me fit. Um, and it gives me something to focus on. I, and I think one of the reasons I've been quite prolific in writing songs in the last, um, few years is because just whilst out cycling, the sort of freedom it gives you it really expands my mind and uh, gets me very, makes me very creative. So I think that's one of the reasons I keep doing it because I enjoy it and it keeps me very creative. Uh, but as I said, so I've got the delivery that I do, delivery work, got my acting work, which I have abundance of acting work coming through. Maybe I'll upload some clips of me in various shows at some point. Are you going to be a problem for me, Nathan? Let's get you home, shall we? So it's okay. Yeah. There's you... one built in the dress, yeah. and then you need the extra for the this region for the extra. For the for the for the Regency look, yeah. shall we say? Yeah. How are you, Carl? How are you finding it? You look I mean, fantastic. I think most of the costume is very comfortable. Apart from the shoes can be a bit draining after a whole day of running around, walking around yeah. in the same shoes. Guys, we're about to send it up to Sam. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thanks for the wrangling. We're just telling what it looks like. It looks terrible. Okay. Yeah. It looks terrible. Right now, I'm cycling through Stanley Park. So this is Stanley Park. Beautiful. 
so yeah and uh i have the music <clears throat> now the reason i decided that i was gonna probably kind of i suppose release my albums is because finally the uh lucy letby case has given me a reason to release it prior to that i didn't have a reason to need to put all the effort and energy into releasing it but because of the lucy letby case um yeah, I, I think that's my kind of motivation to release the album and perhaps use the proceeds towards um, paying for all the sort of stuff that I need to pay for or, you know, that needs money put towards it, such as um, the transcripts and paying for the private prosecution. So basically all the proceeds of the music that I'm releasing will go towards um, funding. I mean, it may not make any money, so who knows? But if it does make any money, it will go towards funding um, the the private prosecution, as I said, and um, obtaining copies of the transcript. And whatever's left over, I'll put it in a pot, at some point and when because obviously Lucy Letby is going to need to restart her life when she comes out of prison I doubt if unless her parents have been generous and kept and are in a financial position to keep her house ticking over she'll need to start from scratch and she might get compensation who knows but if she doesn't then hopefully any additional money that I raise would go towards um a fund that would help her. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to manage any fund. I'm just saying if anybody starts a fund that helps Lucy Letby, then I'll put that money towards the fund. But if nobody starts a fund, then I'll just find a way of giving it directly to her through um, Mark McDonald, her solicitor or something. So, so that's the plan with the money from the music. Additionally, any money uh, raised by my channel as well. So I was talking about membership as well. So any money raised through membership or any money donated towards my channel will go towards paying for the transcripts, paying for the private prosecution, and then any money left over will, again, go towards Lucy. So, you know, because I'm I'm quite comfortable. The money I earn from um, my acting work and from my delivery work means I'm quite comfortable. I don't need any additional money. I'm, I'm doing okay, you know? I'm able to send money to my ex-partner for my son and I'm able to sort of provide my other children with money as and when they need it. So I do not need any extra money. And that's why I never released the albums before, but now, you know, with this whole um, situation with that Lucy Letby's in, that extra money that I might get from releasing the album will come in handy in terms of um, helping this campaign. So I just wanted to be very, very clear that I'm not trying to use Lucy Letby to raise any extra money for myself. I do not want to make any money from anything I'm doing, um, as far as this Lucy Letby um, campaign goes, literally every single penny that is directly generated from these videos, from the music that I'm promoting on my channel or anything will go towards either obtaining documents such as the transcripts related to Lucy Letby's case or paying for a private prosecution or going towards um, a fund that would um, give Lucy Letby an opportunity to restart her life when she comes out of prison. Uh, <clears throat> so that I just wanted to be very clear about that so that there's no uh, misunderstanding that I have any other agenda. I have no other agenda. I'm, you know, I'm not looking to get any credit, praise or anything for it. I did a lot of work for um, homeless people in the past. I've done a lot of charity work, other charities, but 
I'm not going to talk about them now. But I'm not looking with that work that I've done in the past to, you know, gain any praise, credit. I don't need any pushes up the ladder in my acting work. I'm quite happy where I am as far as the acting work goes. Um, so it's not for any publicity or anything like that. It's it's just totally, totally. I just want to, I just want to get her out of prison, basically, because this is clearly a miscarriage of justice. And the quicker we get this done, um, the better for all concerned. So, yeah, that's that's all. That's all I've got to say. So everybody, um, I've finished. I've just finished doing five hours of delivery work on the, on my bike all over my city. And I've had a great time, met some wonderful people whilst I've been out, caught up with some friends, because I know most of the delivery drivers. Um, and it's been great, great day. Weather's actually been quite good. The temperature's kind of picked up as well. So I hope you all have a really good night tonight. And let's hope that tomorrow is a brighter day for Lucy Letby.